you're watching this video, you're probably trying to set up SSH in VS Code on your local PC, and you're trying to connect to a remote PC to do some remote development. So I'm going to show you how to access your remote PC through the terminal, as well as through the direct files in VS Code. If you're new to my channel, I have a website at kevinwoodrobotics.com where I have a bunch of resources on robotics and computer vision. So check it out and subscribe to learn more. So before you can actually talk to your remote PC, you need to make sure that you've made a connection to it. You're going to do this by using an Ethernet cable. So the first thing you want to do is make sure you have SSH set up. If you already have that set up, you could go ahead and skip to the section SSH setup in VS Code. Otherwise, stick around to see how to set that up. So here is the steps for installing a supported SSH client. So depending on whether you're running on Windows, Mac, Ubuntu, go ahead and follow these instructions. You can see that for Mac, it comes with it. Ubuntu is a simple command. The more complicated part is if you're installing in Windows, which is the part that I'll cover today. So with Windows, you want to make sure that you have a device running at least Windows Server 2019 or Windows 10. You go ahead and check this by running the winbr.exe in your PowerShell as an admin. And you want to make sure that your PowerShell is 5.1 or later. You could do this by running this command psversion table.psversion. Go ahead and make sure that an account is a member of the built-in administrator group. You could do this by running this command here. I'll go ahead and leave this command in the description so you could just go ahead and copy and paste that into the terminal. Okay, now that we've verified some of the prerequisites, you could go ahead and install the open SSH. So go ahead and come to system optional features. And you're gonna look for the open SSH, just start typing open. You're gonna see open SSH server pop up. Go ahead and click that and start the installation. You're gonna see this window pop up. Wait a little bit and it should finish. Once it's done, you're gonna see this open SSH client and open SSH server. So this shows that the installation has completed. Now what you want to do is go ahead and find services. Go ahead and click on this to open it. You're going to see this window pop up. You're going to see open SSH server right here. You want to go ahead and double click it. Once you do that, you're going to see this window pop up. What you want to do is choose a startup type, choose automatic. Once you do that, go ahead and click the start and you should be able to start this process. You'll know that it has been started. If you come here and see, it's going to show running. Now you want to go ahead and install the SSH on your server. You could go ahead and do the same setup if you have a Windows PC or if you're like me and have a Ubuntu PC you're trying to connect to, go ahead and just run this command up here, sudo apt get install open ssh server. So choose the one that works for you. Okay, now what we want to do is make sure that we can actually connect to our remote PC before we actually go into VS Code. So what you want to do is do ssh domain username at hostname. You can also use the IP address. If you want to find the different information like the domain, username, hostname, and IP address, go ahead and run these commands in your terminal in your remote PC. So here I'm going to do ssh kevin at kevin macbook pro. This is my setup. And you're going to see this output that shows some of the information. And then finally, if you have a password, it's going to prompt you to enter your password. So next up, you're going to see this window pop up to show that you have successfully connected to your remote PC. OK, so now you should be ready to set up SSH in VS Code. What you want to do is go ahead and download the extension remote-ssh. Once you do that, you're going to see this blue icon at the bottom left. Go ahead and click on it. And you're going to click on this option that says connect to host here. Go ahead and click that. You should now see this new window pop up. This is where you could type in your host name. Go ahead and type it in. Notice that what I'm doing here is typing it in. Later, I'm going to show you some ways to add in your SSH host, and I'll show you what the difference is. But here, we're just going to type in our computer name. Once you do that, go ahead and select the platform you're using. In our case, we're using a Linux PC. And what you want to do is go ahead and enter your password if it prompts you to enter a password. So you're going to notice on the bottom, it's going to show that SSH and my MacBook. So it means that I have successfully connected. Now if you open up a terminal, you're going to see that we're actually opening up a terminal from our remote PC. 
So let's say you ended your session and you want to reconnect again. What you want to do is go through that same process by coming down to that, click on it, and then click on connect to host. What you're going to notice is that it doesn't remember what PC you connected to. So this is where the add new host SSH comes in. This is where you actually put in your information and it's going to remember your PC. So if you don't want to remember it, then you don't want to choose this option and just do what I showed you earlier by just typing the name up above on this window here. So go ahead and type it in if you do choose to add a new one. So go ahead and type your computer name in. Once you do that, you're going to see this config file pop up. Go ahead and click on that. When you click on that, you're going to see this thing pop up. If I move to the side, you're going to see this. It says open config. Go ahead and click on the open config. You're going to see that they have created a config file for you with your host name and user information. Now you can see that in the future, if you're trying to connect, the name of your computer will show up right here when you try to connect to a host. Now, if you don't like to work with the terminal and like to see the actual files, you can go ahead and click on code dot. What this will do is populate all of your files in the Explorer here, just like you would when you open up a folder in your local PC. Another way is to just come here and click on open folder, and this will open the specific folder that you want in your remote PC. All right, so if you found this video helpful, give a like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. <laughs>